Hi everyone. In this video, let's discuss the answer for one of the cash budget questions I have given to you. Let me go through the questions one. A Q, a new company, is being established to manufacture and sell an electronic tracking device, the track it. The owners are excited about the future profits that the business will generate. They have forecast the sales will grow to 2,600 trackets per month within five months and will be at that level for the remainder of the first year. The owners will invest a total of $250,000 in cash on the first day of operations. Uh, that is the day that is the first day of month one. They will also transfer non-current assets into the company. So that's basically the opening balance of cash. They are telling 250,000. Extracts from the company's business plan are shown below. The forecast sales for the first five months are in units given. Selling price has been set at $140 per tracket. Sales will mainly sales will be mainly through large retail outlets. The pattern for the receipt of payment is expected to be as follows. Time of payment immediately 15%, one month later 25%. Two months later, 40 percentage. Three months later, 15 percentage. The balance represents anticipated bad debts. A four percentage discount will be given for immediate payment. Right. So we know the question is on cash budget, and this is the details about sales. And uh, just to refresh, or just to you know highlight once more, the requirement is prepare a cash budget for each of the three months and for the three uh, three month period in total cool so let's start right cash budget q limited all right month one month two month three And let's take cash inflows first. You know the format cash inflows. Right. Under cash inflows, sales or so collection from sales is what we are going to take. But that collection happens in you know multiple steps. Immediately you are getting some one month later, two months later. So let me categorize that. Cash sales. What you are collecting immediately, I can call it cash sales. Collection from debtors after a month. Collection from debtors after two months. Collection from debtors after three months. Right. First month. First month sales volume was given to you thousand units. Can you see this thousand units? And selling price is going to be 140. So first month sales I can find hundred uh, thousand into 140. And then that that sales figure is what we are going to analyze as per these percentages. So ideally, let's do a separate working for sales. Okay, let me do it here. Working one sales. Right? Month one, month two, month three. Units, price, revenue. Price has been 140 always. 140, 140. How many units we are selling? Let's double check. Units 1000, 1500, 2000. 1000, 1500, 2000. So revenue will be equal this cell multiply the next cell and then you can drag it right 
So this this hundred and forty thousand, how you are going to receive that the percentage is fifteen twenty five forty fifteen percentage in the same month. Let me take fifteen percentage in the same month hundred and forty thousand into fifteen percentage. I know there is some discount. I will come to that later. So fifteen percentage. 25 percentage in the second month so one month later one month later okay 140000 multiplied by 25 percentage 40 percentage two months later 140000 i can link here 140000 is linked can you see that i'm not typing that again and again i'm linking it 40 percentage now let's go back and see the discount on this figure they say there is a 4 percentage discount so if you subtract that 4 percentage then what you are going to receive is only 96 percentage. So that figure multiplied by 96 percentage to get the collection in month one. So look at this carefully. 15 percentage is here, 25 is here, 40 is here. Three months later, they said there is another 15 percentage. But the problem is three months later means month one sales. After three months means that is in month four. We are not preparing the budget for month 4, right? We are preparing only for month 1, month 2, month 3. Therefore, I don't have to worry about the last category of 15%. So that's what the month 1 sale. Let's do the similar analysis for month 2. This 210,000 into 15% in the same month or immediately you are collecting it. But you are giving a discount of 4%. 96 percentage will be collected. Let me double confirm that 4 percentage. Where is that? A 4 percentage discount will be given for immediate payment. Yeah, that's what I, I took that 96 percentage. See, 96 percentage. Okay. Similarly, of that 210,000, 25 percentage will be received one month later. 40 percentage will be two months later, but that is going to be month four. So I don't have to show it here. Month three, 280,000. Month three equals 280,000. 15 percentage, 96 percentage. Right. Let's get the totals. Sum of all these three in the same row will be the total. So that's all about sales related collections we have. Now let me go back and check whether there are any other cash inflows. You know other cash inflows can be uh, bank, a new bank loan taken new shares issued, interest received, dividends received, sale of fixed assets. Likewise, you may have you know ample of items with uh, cash inflow. Double check here. This is about production, variable cost, material, wages. Yeah, it's all thereafter costs. So the, we don't have any other inflow. So I can get the total inflow with this. Total inflow. using the sum function get the total and then drag it here just make it bold to look better fine so that's all about cash inflows now we will look at cash outflows what are the cash outflows we have Material payment for purchases will be made in the month following receipt. There will be no opening inventory of materials in month one. It will be company policy to hold inventory at the end of each month equal to 20% of following month's production requirements. The direct material cost includes cost of an essential component that will be bought in from a specialist manufacturer. So maybe that is why they are maintaining stock. Right. 
material cost is $60. Working number two. Working number two. Material cost. Month one, month two, month three, month four. I need month four also. You can see when I'm doing the calculation, you'll understand. Let's take production units, production volume. Yeah. Then direct material or material cost per unit. Total material cost. Production units was given. Careful, these are sales units. 1000, 1500, 2000 are sales unit. You need to take the production units. Let's check the production units. Because production cost depends on how many units you are producing. Not depends on what you are selling. 1450, 1650, 1450, 1650. 2120 2460 that's your production plan and material cost per unit was given to you $60 60 60 60 60 1450 units into 60 so that's what the material cost is but you must be careful this is the usage cost, the cost of materials you are using every month. So let me highlight this and within brackets I can say this is the usage because you know production multiplied by material. It might be in kilograms, meters, liters or it can be in dollars, whatever. Production multiplied by material is the usage of material to make this 1450 units of uh, output you have used 87,000 worth material you have used it doesn't mean you have purchased that much material you know usage quantity and purchase quantity or usage value and purchase value can be different what's the reason there is stock so we need to adjust for the stock how do we adjust usage Okay, how do we adjust it? Usage add closing stock, deduct opening stock, that's what you get as the purchased cost, total material purchases, purchases. Okay, might be in your previous level or sometimes earlier you might have studied, we first multiply by the usage. Usage might be in kilograms, liters, meters, get the total usage, do everything in kilograms itself. Finally, you multiply by the price. Yes, if details are available, we can do it like that. But here we don't have that detail, right? So better thing, do it in dollars itself or pounds itself. Usage, this is in pounds. Then stock details are also in, going to be in pounds. Purchases, you will get it in pounds. There is nothing wrong in that. Good. What is given about stock? There will be no opening inventory in first month. Thereafter, 20% of next month's production requirement. Okay. Opening stock is zero for first month. Thereafter, closing stock is going to be next month's requirement multiplied by 20%. And then that first month's closing stock will become the opening stock for next month. What would be the second month closing stock? Third month usage multiplied by 20% each. Because every month closing stock has to be next month's requirement into 20% each. That will be the opening stock for the next month. Closing stock will be again month 4 usage multiplied by 20%. This is why I wanted to have month 4 column also. I remembered the opening stock was given like that. Sorry, closing stock was connected to the next month. Fine. 
now what we do material purchases will be this plus closing stock minus opening stock this is what the purchases are and then how are you making the payment for the purchases the material cost includes the cost of an essential no not that payment for purchases will be made in the month following the receipt so if you are receiving the material in first month basically this this cost you are going to pay in the next month only so let me say here material purchases or you can say payment for payment for suppliers in month 2 only i am going to include this 106800 do you understand why because you are paying one month late in month 3 you are going to pay this month 2 figure right so month 1 you don't have any uh, uh, payments you have purchases but you are not paying for it you are paying it one month later that's all about payment for suppliers now let's go back and read the rest of it Wages will be paid in the month in which production occurs. Wages are $10 each. You have the production volume. You can easily multiply and get the answer. So wages. Wages are going to be first month production this much into $10. Careful. Production into volume. Or production volume into $10. Second month production, 1650 into 10. Third month, 2120 into 10. Easy. And why am I recording them in the same month itself? It was given in the question. They mentioned that it is paid in the same month. Next. Variable overhead. 65 percentage is paid in the month in which production occurs and the remainder will be paid in one month okay variable over 20 20 dollar okay working number three variable over it right so total or variable over cost is going to be $20 multiplied by the volume, production volume this much into 20. I can track that for each month. Right. So let me categorize that. We will take it into two categories. Variable overhead, same month. Variable overhead in one month. What's the meaning in one month? You are paying one month late. Right. So month 1 has to be in same month what you are paying this 29,000 into 65 percentage you are paying in the same month. Whereas that 25, uh, 29,000 into balance 35 percentage you are paying one month later. Similarly month 2 this 33,000 multiplied by 65 percentage you are paying in the same month. Same 33,000 multiplied by 35 percentage, you are going to pay one month late. Month 3, 42,400 multiplied by 65 percentage in same month. 35 percentage will go to month 4, which I can't show here. Fixed overheads. Fixed overheads are estimated at 840,000 per annum and are expected to be incurred in equal amounts each month. 60% of the fixed overheads will be paid in the month in which they are incurred and 15% in the following month. The balance represents depreciation. So you know depreciation is not taken, only that 60 and 15 percentages have to be taken. Annual fixed overhead is 840,000. Annual fixed overhead. So working number 4, let's find the monthly fixed overhead. Working number 4. Fixed overhead uh, 
1,600 per month. 840,000 divided by 12. I missed the equal sign. Yeah. Something went wrong. What is it? Okay. That's the same figure every month. So how you are paying? Again, I'll take like this fixed overhead also something like variable overhead. You are paying part of it in the same month, uh, part of it in the following month. Okay, how much you are paying in the same month? 60 percentage, is it? Let me go back and check. Yeah, 60 in the same month, 15 in the following month. 60 percentage. This 70,000 into 60 percentage in the same month. That applies to every month. 15 percentage one month later. So this first month 70,000 into 15 percentage is paid second month. Same applies for the next column also. Get the totals now. That's the total of first item. Likewise, get the total for all. Double check in the question whether I'm missing any other cash outflows. No, I have taken everything. Easy. I can say total outflow. How do I get that? Equal sum. Sum of all this. Drag that to all four columns. Then what do you do? After taking the inflow and outflow, what do we do? Net cash flow. Net cash flow. How do we take net cash flow? Inflow minus outflow. That's a minus figure. That's all right. You don't have to worry about that. Good. That's the net cash flow. Then what do we do? Add opening cash balance. How much was the opening cash balance? Question mentioned. When the company started, owners have invested 250,000. Do you remember reading that? Owners will invest a total of 250,000 uh, in cash on the first day of operations. 250,000. So, closing balance will be, closing cash balance will be, Net cash flow generated plus the opening balance should give you closing balance. Closing balance of month one will be the opening balance for the next month. Like you have got the total of closing balance in the first month, you can get all three months. But make sure second month's closing goes as the opening for the third month. So that 52,650 goes there. So each month, this is how the cash budget will look like. And to get the total column, remember I explained you, uh, opening balance of total column should be the same as first month's opening balance. So first month opening balance, how much was it? 250. So that should be the opening balance here also. Then get the closing balance. If you have done correctly, that must tell you with this figure, third month's closing balance and the total column's closing balance must be same. Yes, it tallies. Simply, that's what the cash budget is. Just for the exam marker to make things easy, we'll make the reference. Sales, you know, I did a working here, right, in, in uh, working one. So maybe here I can connect working one. You may not have to copy in everything, but in the first one you show that. Material cost, we have done the working in working two. Wages working three. Variable overhead working four. If you don't have time, don't waste it. If you have a bit of time, do it. Working four. I missed something, is it? Variable overhead has to be working three. Oh, wages we didn't have a working. Sorry, wages we didn't have a working. Variable overhead is working three. And fixed overhead is working four. Cool, simple. That's all the requirement is. Isn't it very simple? Yeah? Okay.
just present it this much you don't have to do additional formatting you know coloring border it will be a waste of time in an exam and they don't test your excel skills they test your knowledge on particular subject yeah so if you do this much that's more than enough right guys if you have any doubts feel free to ask me in our whatsapp group thank you